In this video, we will talk about data analysis. Sometimes we're asked to analyze data using specific kinds of tables, um, and you might be familiar with some other um, forms such as histograms or uh, just charts. Um, in this one, they're asking us to arrange the following data in a stem and leaf plot, and then find the, me the mean, median, and mode from that. The stem, a stem and leaf plot um, is, a, is a fairly useful type of organization strategy, and basically what you do is the ones digits, um, and then so on, become the, the leaves, and the tens digit, or basically whatever the first number is of, of your data, um, becomes the stem. So for our data, the first thing I'm going to do is reorder it in order um, from least to greatest. So for us, we have 54, 65, 75, 77, 79, 88, 88 again, 90, 91, and 95. And if we count to make sure, we see we have n originally and 10 at the end. Just, just to double check, we have all of our numbers included. Okay. To make the stem and the leaf um, plot, first I'm going to write two columns, one stem and one leaf. I'm going to just draw a line down. Our stems are the, the number, in this case, the, um, the tens digit is going to be our number for our stem. So going in order, we have 5 from the 54, 6 from the 65, 7 from the 75, 77, and 79, 8 from both of our 88s, and 9 from our 90, 91, and 95. So that, that forms the stem of our, of our plot. And then to find the leaves, we just go and find the ones digits that correspond with our stem. So for our 5, it's 54. For our 6, it's 65. For our 7, it's 75, 77, and 79. For our 8, it's 88, twice, and make sure you write it twice because we have to take into account every single number that we're given. And for our 9s, we have 90, 91, and 95. So that's how we do um, a basic stem and leaf plot. And then from this, we can find all sorts of different information, and they're asking us to find the mean, the median, and the mode. First, the mean uh, that they're asking us to find uh, is going to be um, is going to be what we sometimes call uh, the average, um, and for the mean, the best way to really go about doing it is the conventional way, which is just to add up all of our numbers and then divide by the total number of numbers. So if we add this together, um, we get 802, which you can check by either adding them yourself or using a calculator. And then since we have 10 numbers to begin with, we divide it by 10, giving us a mean of 80.2. And to find the mean, you didn't need to have the stem and leaf uh, plot, um, but it will be helpful in the next two that we do. Uh, for the median, the median is uh, the middle value of a set. So if we have, or, or the average middle value. So if we have, um, say seven numbers that you can you go from both sides canceling out pairs so the first and the last and the second to last and the second from the beginning and you cancel until you get uh, uncancelable pairs which is going to be our median so we can do that by looking at the um, the stem and leaf plot and by starting with the first leaf um, on the lowest part of the stem, which is the 5, and then the last leaf, which is going to be on the highest part of the stem, um, which is at the, at the 9 part of the stem, and we just cross them out, so we get the 4 is gone and the 5, then the 1 and the 5, so you can see we're moving in towards the center, uh, the 0, and then the 5, the 8, and the 7, and we're left with the 8 and the 9. Since we're left with two numbers in the beginning, the 8 and the 9, um, our median is actually going to be uh, the average of those two numbers. So we have the 79 plus the 88. You can't forget to add, include the stem. Divided by 2, since it's our, um, our two, two numbers. 
uh, gives us 167 over 2, which in turn gives us 83.5. To find the mode, um, what we're finding is the number that occurs the most. And with some of these, it's pretty easy to see which number happens the most. We can just look at it. Um, but a good way to, to look using the stem and leaf plot is to look for the same occurrence of the same number on one particular part of the stem. So, for example, at the stem level 8, you see that we have an 8 occur twice in the leaves, two, two leaves that are leaves that are 8. Um, and there's no double occurrences anywhere else, which means that our mode is going to be 88, since it occurs uh, the most often in this data set.